even if you don't follow gymnastic, you actually might recognize the name. Remember, she took part in the teammate challenge a couple months back. Yeah, that was fun. And after what yeah. she did this weekend, Mike, millions more know the name. Sophina put on a jaw-dropping performance on Saturday as her Bruins hosted Utah in a top 10 showdown at Poly Pavilion. This was her first floor routine, actually, of the season. And let's just say she nailed it. Sophina De Jesus for UCLA. Oh. Stop that landing. Yes, she did. <laughs> Get her game face on for this final tumbling pass. Combination. Wow. Oh, sure. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we've seen that. This is her first floor of the year. That's the first time I've seen it in oh, person. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they're asking for 10. Yeah, they want it. Now they're begging for 10. How is that not a 10, by the way? No idea. I hate when people have fun uh, in their playing. <laughs> 9925 is what the judges <laughs> gave Sophina DeJesus. She uh, matched a career high, by the way. But come on, that's a 10. Uh, that is, that's like an 11 you or 12. You pull out the Quan, the Whip, so, and the Nay Nay, that's a 10. It's, it's, and the Dab. It's a wrap. Yes. All right, so the yeah. Bruins win the meet. <laughs> Sophina won the internet, as well as our leadoff interview tonight on Sports Report. Sophina, more than 17 and a half million people and counting have watched that clip of your routine online. Did you have any idea that this thing was going to go viral like it has? No, not at all. I had no clue whatsoever. I was just excited to finally compete floor, so I want to go out there, have fun, perform. You know, I love dancing and I love performing, so that was the main goal, to go out there and hit a good one for my team. It shows. Yeah, I think, it shows. I think that's a fair Thank assessment you. of what we saw. But someone actually tweeted that the halftime of the Super Bowl should have been you and Beyonce, <laughs> yeah. How did, I like that. I, which I do love. How did the choreography for the routine come together? Well, um, in the summer, I so I'm a senior, so in the summer I wanted to like think of something to like end my senior year with a bang, and so I went to this one dance studio in San Diego, and Chris Ortega uh, helped, like he was doing a, a dance class. So I like watched it, and I asked him, I was like, oh, can I put some of these moves into my floor routine? He's like, yeah, for sure. So I took some of those moves, and then I went home over um, winter and Christmas break, and my sister is an amazing dancer. So I was like showing her like some of the dance moves that I thought that I should incorporate, and she helped me come up with more choreography and like blended it in, and it was amazing, and I was like so thankful for her. And then when I came back to practice, then Ms. Zell cleaned it all up. So it was like kind of like a combination of a whole bunch of people, you know? Well, it came at just the right time because wow. in that meet, you guys were trailing Utah heading into the final rotation. You guys knew the last four floor routines were going to all be, I mean, almost yeah. near perfect to be able to pull off the win. So what did Coach say to you heading into that event? Well, we all, we don't like look at scores, you know, I feel like we try to keep in our brewing bubble so we don't, you know, get distracted by anything else. So I actually had no clue if we were ahead or behind or how close we were. I was just like trying to end this meet with a great like ending, you know, so um, I think that when I went up, I just wanted to pump up the team a little bit more because I feel like from the beginning of the meet, it started like a slow increase. And then like I was like, OK, let me like pump up the team and like just go all out for this floor team. So that's what my intention was. And um, I feel like I did that. And then it like increased after that. Fun fact about Sophina, Hip Hop Harry. You used to be <laughs> on Hip Hop Harry, our sources tell us. What can you tell us about that show? Yes. Oh my gosh. When I was younger, I was a hyper crazy child. So my mom <laughs> just wanted us to have fun and be happy. So she put us in a whole bunch of random sports. And um, the three sports, the three things that like really stuck to me was dancing, acting, and gymnastics. So I was like going crazy with all those things. So I, I did gymnastics for a little bit. And then I was like, you know what? I want to explore some more options. So I went to acting. And so I got an, uh, an agent and then I auditioned for this with my sister, Hip Hop Harry, and got on it and it was so much fun. Like the, one of the best experiences I will ever have for sure and continue to like have in my head. Um, I think that it made me the gymnast I am today because I performed on Hip Hop Harry and I love acting and I love dancing and I incorporate all of that into gymnastics and like it's a stage. I hip Hop like Harry, the secret. Yeah, is that like is that like Soul Train Light? I don't know Hip Hop <laughs> Harry, so it's just, it's, it's like a cool Barney. Like yeah. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah. But so it's a hip, better version of Barney. Well, in my it. opinion, I'm biased. Soul you know? Train Light. I had it right then. I had it exactly <laughs> pegged. Sophia, we cannot wait to see you and your teammates back in action Saturday against Oregon State right here on the Pac-12 Network. You. Congratulations on the success this year. Thank you so much. Can't wait.